Hi you guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to do a nice glowy makeup look because you know it's summertime, sun's out. I wanted to have like a glowy look to my skin more so than a matte look, but I wanted to do a makeup look that I felt was going to last a good portion or all day. So you know it's kind of like doing your complexion underneath your powder as well as on top of your powder you know the double blush double highlight double bronze all of that so that as the day goes on when your makeup is kind of like wearing down maybe you sweat a little or whatever it kind of lasts longer because you did the base underneath your powder as well as on top of your powder now i know this eye look isn't very much summary but the palette that I use to create this eye look is the Precious Metals palette from ColourPop and you know I told you guys that I'm kind of leaning more towards the cool tones right now so that's what I did I kind of stayed over in this area of the palette because that's what I was drawn to so it's a gorgeous gorgeous palette and I'm wondering like did ColourPop kind of improve on their formula because these shadows I mean, this was like a very, very easy eye look to do and the shadows performed beautifully. Nat's extremely pigmented, blended out with no problem at all and the shimmers, Lord, the shimmers, just gorgeous. So yeah, I kind of went in with the cool tones today, but I really more so focused on the base. So that's what this video is going to really show what I did under the powder, over the powder to create this beautiful kind of glowy summertime look, even though it isn't, you know, like a wet kind of glowy look. So if you want to check this look out, see the products I used and how I created it, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, enough of the shenanigans. Let's go ahead and get started with this makeup look. So I'm starting out by moisturizing my skin with the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Waterful Glow Cream. I love this moisturizer. Around this time of year, I get pretty dry around my nose and on my forehead. And this waterful moisturizer just really kind of hydrates my skin and preps it nicely for the makeup. For primer, I'm using the Milani Rose Primer Prep and Hydrate. I tend to kind of focus my primer in my T-zone usually, and this time is no different. I'll smooth out the rest of the primer all over the rest of my face, but my main focus is always my T-zone. I think it's because back when I used to be more oily skinned, I used to like to prime my T-zone a lot. So I kind of just stayed in that habit even though I'm not an oily girl anymore. So for my brows, I'm going in with my NYX brow pencil. I really don't like to fuss too much when it comes to my brows. I like to just kind of fill in the outer tip because that's really where it's the weakest. And you know, just kind of deepen that, make sure it's a nice shape. And so as you can see, I focus on the outer tip first and then I just kind of fill in the sparse areas of the rest of my brow as much as I feel is necessary. But I'm not really one to carve out just this perfect precise brow because I do love a natural looking brow I just don't have enough hair <laughs> to accomplish that um, and create a nice eye look so to help carve out my brows I'm going in with some of this wet n wild concealer I'm almost out I really need to throw this one away because I've been using it forever and there's barely anything in here but as you can see I'm using a flat brush to help me carve out these brows what I do is I just kind of get a little bit of the product off the tip of the applicator and apply it to the brush so it's easier for me to carve out my brows so as you can see it just makes it look nice and neat and you know carves it out a little bit better than just drawing them in 
and once I feel like it suits my needs then I'm done now I was going in with this concealer and the tip broke off in the bottle very annoying thankfully I do have a backup <laughs> so this is the Catrice True Skin um, what is it called 18 hour hydrating high cover concealer and I will say this stuff is extremely high cover I love it um, for you know my dark circles as you can see I'm going to use it as my eyeshadow base as well today because my eyeshadow base is not really my focus today you guys I'm really more focused on complexion today and just showing you guys you know a way that you can do your makeup to make sure it lasts all day long you know where you can still see your blush and still see your highlighter and all that stuff even when the top layer of your makeup starts to fade so i'm just going in really making sure i cover those hyper pigmented areas where there's different dark colors and also trying to avoid these lashes okay i have on these lash extensions and it is a little bit difficult to kind of work around them especially if you like to do intricate eye looks because they just kind of get in the way but we're gonna work around them today y'all and uh figure it out so as you can see i'm covering my hyperpigmentation around my mouth and i'm just going to use the same concealer to kind of dot conceal you know where i have little dark spots from where i broke out and things like that that might not be completely covered by my foundation so that's what I'm doing here, just kind of spot concealing and making sure that those areas are nicely covered before I go in with my foundation. So for foundation today, as you can see, I'm using an oldie but goodie. This is the NYX Born to Glow. Love this foundation. And as soon as I used it, I realized and remembered why it is <laughs> that I like it so much. There's no pump on this, so I just kind of squeeze a little bit out on my hand. And while I was going to use a foundation brush today, I decided, you know what, let me just go in with my damp sponge because that's what I'm comfortable with. So that's what we're doing. But I'm mainly applying this foundation in the areas that I didn't put a full amount of concealer and also using this sponge to blend that foundation in with the concealer. And as you can see, the colors, you know, they mesh together really, really well. It's not a huge uh, difference in the color of the foundation and the concealer. So it works out nicely to just kind of blend out the edges of that concealer, mix it with that foundation and have a nice flawless look. Now with blending in this concealer along with the foundation, as you can see, I'm just gently tapping and I will come back and blend out my eyelids with um, a brush because the sponge is a bit large to use when I have to kind of avoid those lashes that I have on. It would just be more hassle than not. So, but I'm really, really loving the color of this foundation as you can see it blends with my chest and with my neck very nicely so great shade of this what shade do I have cappuccino <laughs> cappuccino in the NYX born to glow foundation now I'm just applying or blending in that concealer over my eyelids with this nice fluffy flat top brush working very nicely to fit in that space i wish i knew who made this brush um but it is a nice brush <laughs> so going in with my juvia's place concealer i don't want to go in with too much because i'm really just using this to brighten certain areas of my face a little bit and just kind of add an extra piece of dimension to this face so I'm not adding a whole lot but I am adding enough to kind of make a difference with a little bit of brightening and I decided to use that same brush that I used on my eyelids because I didn't want to pull away from this brightening concealer a lot typically I would use a damp sponge but 
I'm using a brush today because I want that brightening to show through a little bit more. Now, if you do kind of go too wide with your concealer, you can go back in with that sponge that has that foundation and just help to carve out that nose a little bit. Um, I'm not really that pressed when it comes to contouring my nose. I just like to add a little bit of brightness on that bridge. So this brush is working nicely. It's fitting nicely even under my eyes as I'm blending out this concealer. Um, but I do prefer to use a sponge only because it's faster. It does take away more of the product, but if you want better coverage, it's definitely better to use a brush. Now for my cream products, I am going in with my e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. And as you can see, I really do not use cream bronzers that often. I really would like to use them more often because like I said, doing this type of makeup where you double the products in cream and powder, it does last longer. So yeah, I really, really should use more of my cream products and plus they don't last as long as the dry products. But as you can see, I'm not going ham with this um, cream bronzer. I'm really just kind of applying it where I want to add a little bit of depth, a little bit of shape to my face. So that's what I'm doing here. As you can see, still using that larger brush just to kind of gently carve out my nose a little bit, applying it you know, around the perimeter of my face and like I said, it's not gonna be too crazy because I'm definitely going in with the powder products after I um, powder my face. Definitely remember to carve out, you know, your jawbone and under your chin, you know, just to create a little bit of a shadow. So, you know, you kind of try and hide that double chin a little bit. Doesn't always work, but <laughs> we can try, right? So for cream blush, I'm using one of my ColourPop <laughs> cream blushes. This is a Sunset Strip. Gorgeous, gorgeous shade. I'm going in with what is actually a foundation brush, like one of those flat top foundation brushes, because I really, really wanna get that color on that dense brush and just tap that into my cheeks and really just like patting it nicely into my cheeks so that color sits in well with those cream products on top of that foundation. And this blush shade is really pretty. I really like it, it's gorgeous. But yeah, as you can see, I'm not being shy with the blush because like I said, we're about to powder all over this makeup and then go back in. So just want to make sure that it's on there nicely so it shows through. Now for my liquid highlighter, I'm using this Sephora Golden Hour and I feel like I should have shook it up a little bit more because even though, you know, it still added that shine and that sheen, I don't feel like it had as much of the glow in it, you know, that it should have, but child, it was still glowing. As you can see, it's definitely showing that glow as I place it with that fluffy brush. And I use a lot of tools to kind of make my life a little bit easier, you know, different size of brushes, different shapes of brushes. I don't necessarily like to get my hands dirty all the time, so I do like to use tools to apply my makeup. So tip of the nose, bridge of the nose, upper portion of the cheeks, just you know where that light would typically hit on your face. Now we're gonna powder up using my Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. And I am using one of my triangle, you know, little fluffy applicators. I love these things. The precision of application is just so nice with these and they're easy to use too. I went in with a little bit more powder than I wanted to, even though I tapped it off on my hand, 
seems like there was still a lot on that puff but as you can see it is really blending and blurring and setting my face nicely i like this powder from Too Faced. I don't use a whole lot of Too Faced products, but this powder is nice. And so as you can see, I'm just going in and really making sure everything is set. Even my eyelids, because like I said, I'm using that concealer as my eyeshadow base today. So it's just going to be set like the rest of my face. Now to go ahead and use a pressed powder, I'm going in with my Kiss Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation. I love this stuff just kind of, you know, to bring that warmth back into my face after I use that lighter powder to set those concealed areas. As you can see, I'm using it all over my face, but I'm really focusing it in those areas that, you know, the same areas that really you kind of bronze and um, want that warmth so although I'm using it all over my face I'm also using it even more so in the areas where you know I like that extra bit of warmth so setting the whole face making sure it's nice and powdered And I'm liking what I see so far. Really, really liking it. So now it's time to go in with my powder bronzer just to reinforce that warmth, you know, just there under my cheekbones and around the perimeter of my face, making sure that I blend that in nicely. And as you can see, I use this big fluffy brush, you know, when I am kind of like shaping my nose as well. Cause like I said earlier, I'm really not that pressed on having that perfectly chiseled nose. That's not really my style of makeup. I actually like my nose, <laughs> my little round nose. And so, you know, I just kind of add that shading and definition on the sides of my nose, but not really so much trying to carve it out because like I said, I like the shape of my nose. That's why I can use that big fluffy brush to kind of just add that bit of shadow to the sides. Now for blush, we're going in with this Revolution Roxy. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Blush Burst Palette. And as you can see, I like all of those darker shades. So I just kind of swirl my whole little fluffy brush in there. And now I'm tapping this on my cheeks. Same place that I put that um, cream brush, <laughs> cream blush before applying my powder. So now I'm just reinforcing it with this powder blush. And they're really like close in color, if not the same color, to be honest with you, that beautiful rosy peachy shade, which is one of my favorite shades of blush. And as you can see, I do add a little flush to my nose, forehead, and chin as well, just like a summer, summer baby. Now for my powder highlighter, I'm going in with this gorgeous Huda Beauty, um, what does she call this stuff? It's a glow blush, actually. So if you like a glowy blush, this is all you need. But I am using this as my highlighter. Now, if you don't like color in your highlighter, you probably won't like this one. Cause as you can see, it definitely has that pretty pink glow in there. And so, you know, that's what we're going with today for this highlighted look, beautiful. And to set this in place, I'm using my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip um, setting spray. Since we're going for the glowiness, we're gonna set it with that. And for my lips, I'm tired of looking at these <laughs> neutral lips. So I'm going in with my Sephora lip liner in the shade Molasses and just lining my lips as you can see here, one of my, I don't know, I think this is actually my favorite lip liner at this point in time. Works nicely, highly pigmented, very smooth, easy to use. 
and I decided to go in with one of my e.l.f. bullet lipsticks. What shade is this one? Mm, this one is in the shade Nectar. Very pretty nudey peachy tone. I love the nude tone lipsticks. And so this one is super creamy and we all know e.l.f. is very affordable. So loving that. And I'm topping it off with some of this LA Colors High Shine Lip Gloss. Wanted to add a little bit of glow to these lips as well to match the face. And so, you know, going in with this, very affordable. It's like, a, what is it, a beauty supply store lip gloss? And um, it's very comfortable. So now let's move on to these eyes, you guys. We're jumping into this palette. And I'm going to start out with the shade Total Rockstar. It's kind of like a cool tone shade. But before I do, as you can see, I am going ahead and making sure that I don't have any creasing on my lid since I did my whole face, you know, my eyelids got a little bit creasy with that concealer already on there. So just smoothing that out so I have a nice base for this eyeshadow. Now I'm really, really liking this color. Like I said, I have been in love with these cool tone shades for some reason. Um, and like I said, I know that this is not really a summertime look, but this is just what I felt like doing today. And I realized I need to just do what I feel like doing. <laughs> so this is what we have. You can do whatever you want. If you want to be a goth girl in the middle of the summer, knock yourself out, child. It's your eyes. Do what you want. So anyway, going into this darker shade, which is Let's Do It. <laughs> How appropriate, right? Let's do it. So I'm going in and I'm really applying this more so in the outer corners, you know, because wanted to smoke it up. So we're just kind of creating that smoky shape to this eye, tapping it in the outer corner and just blending it into that first shade. And as you can see, this shadow is applying nicely, nice pigment. It's not patchy, it's blending together really, really well. I went ahead and pulled that dark shade down on the lower lash line, as you can see, and just kind of blended it into that second shade. That's it. Now it's time to decide on a shimmer for my lid. And as you can see, these are gorgeous. But yeah, we're going with the bright silver. <laughs> So I went ahead and applied that with my finger first, being super careful not to get glitter or, and not glitter, but you know, shimmer shadow all over these lashes, being super careful. And then I decided to go in with just a regular small fluffy brush. Didn't wet my brush or anything, you guys. You see how bright and gorgeous this shimmer is without even wetting my brush. And I'm just blending the edges of that in and adding a little bit more of the darker shadows just to kind of bring this look together and, you know, soften up the edge of that super bright silver. Because, chow, that shimmer is bright. Now to go ahead and, you know, kind of bring this look together, I'm adding some black eyeliner, pencil eyeliner on my lower lash line. making sure I get all of that silver shimmer out of my lashes. And I did decide to add a little bit more of that silver in my inner corner, just to add that extra pop. You guys know I love that extra pop in the inner corner. Not always necessary, but today I felt like it was. And then to kind of finish things up, we're going in on those lower lashes with some mascara. And this is the final look, you guys. I really, really hope you like it. Please let me know what you think in the comments. I feel like this face is going to last me all day with that double application. The eyes, you know, perfect for nightlife, but this is what we have, you guys, so. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!